Hello guys and welcome to Python Programming Tutorials by Amul's Academy. Today in this tutorial we are discussing about a pattern program that is we want to print numbers in the pyramid shape. So this is our today's pattern. So we want to print numbers in this pyramid shape. Okay. So let's start the program. Okay. So here we will write the general program. So first we need to ask the user to enter the input. So we need to take the input from the user for that I'll use input function. And before that I'll take one variable called num which will store the user entered input. Here I'll use input function. So I'll ask the user to enter the number of rows. This is the message which will display on the output screen. Okay. So next in Python 3 by default input function will take input as the string value. But here we want integer value because number of rows are integer value, right? So I need to convert that string input to integer. That's why here I'll use int function. Okay, so we ask the user to enter the number of rows and we will store that user entered input in the variable called num. So next, as we saw in the pattern, we want to print numbers in the different rows, right? So for that, I'll take for loop. So first for loop for i in range. So here i is a variable for and in are the keyword and I'll use range function. Okay. So in this range function, I need to mention how many rows I want in my output. Okay. So we want num rows, right? Because here we'll ask the user to enter the number of rows and we'll store that in the variable num. So we want num rows. If you enter four, then the value of num will be four. That means here we want four rows. Okay. So here I'll take, I want rows from one to num plus one. So here I took num plus one because, because in the range function end value will be excluded. So if you enter the num value as four, then the range will be from one to five. So it will give output as one, two, three, four. Okay. The value five will be excluded. That's why we need to mention num plus one. Okay. So according to our program, if you enter num value as four, then we'll get the output like this. Okay. So this will be the first row. This will be the second row. This will be the third row and this will be the fourth row. And here we took the variable name as I. Okay. So I is equal to one means this row, two means this row, three means this row, four means this row. Okay. So next to print the numbers, I'll divide my output into three parts. Okay. So this will be the first part. This will be the second part and this will be the third part. So first we'll print this space. Okay. This is our first part, right? So we'll print this space. So here we can see when row is equal to one, we want three space. Okay. When num is equal to four and row is equal to one, we want three space. Okay. And when row is equal to two, we want two space and row is equal to three. We want one space and row is equal to four. We want zero space. So in general, we can write this as num minus i. Okay. So in the first row, when num value is four and row value is one, that is four minus one, that is three. So we'll get three space, right? Next year in the second row, four minus two, two space, we'll get two space. 4 minus 3 will get 1 space, 4 minus 4 will get 0 space, right? So to print this space, we can write the formula as num minus i. Okay. So here I'll take a for loop to print this space. So I'll take for j in range. Okay. So here j is a variable and in the range, I'll mention how many space I want to print. So we want num minus i space, right? So here I'll take from one to num minus i plus one. Because as I said, in the range function, end value is excluded. That's why I need to mention plus one here. Okay. So if I didn't mention plus one, 
if the num value is 4 and i value is 1 so 4 minus 1 3 so range will become 1 to 3 so it will give output as 1 2 only but we want 3 also that's why i mentioned plus 1 here okay in these places i want to print space so i'll mention end is equal to or you can mention space comma end is equal to empty string okay both are same in the print function by default end value is slash n that is new line but here we don't want that after printing one space i want control to be in the same line so to keep that we need to change the end value so here i wrote end is equal to empty string we can write like this or we can mention end is equal to space both are same okay so we are done with the first part right next so in the second part i want to print first one next two one three two one four three two one okay so to print this number i'll use for loop so now i need to mention the range so here we can see in the first row i want one number in the second row we want two number in this part forget this part and at row 3 we want three numbers at row 4 we want four numbers right here numbers required is equal to the row number right so in the first row we want one number in the second row we want two numbers in the third row we want three number in the fourth row we want four number right and secondly we can see first here we want one that is the row value here one in the second row we want two and one in the third row we want three two one next row we want four three two one so here first we want to print the bigger value next three next two next one okay so here i'll take my range as i two zero minus one so here i will be the start value zero will be the end value and minus one is the step so that's nothing but when the i value is one so it will start from one to zero minus one so it will give output as one so i want to print that one in that row so i'll print j and is equal to empty string this is to keep the control in the same line here in the first row okay i value become one right so it will come here one zero minus one so range will give the output as one initially j value become one so it will print that here it will print that here next when the row value is two okay so range will become two zero minus one so start is two so initially j value will be two so it will print this two first next again it will go to the for loop and j value become one so it will print this one okay so now we are done with this part next we need to move on to the last part okay first we want to print print at row 2 that is 2 next row 3 we want to print 2 3 next row 4 we want to print 2 3 4 okay so at row 2 we want one value at row 3 we want two value at row 4 we want three value so here to print that numbers i'll take another for loop so here i'll take 2 2 here i took the range as 2 and i plus 1 start is 2 end is i plus 1 because here we can see first we want to print the value 2 here in this pattern next we want to print 2 3 next 2 3 4 okay so in this part number will start from 2 that's why here i mentioned 2 okay and here take when the row value is 1 okay here so it will come here 2 to i plus 1 i value is 1 1 plus 1 2 to 2 so it won't execute this for loop so it won't print anything here so here we can see in this part we don't want to print any number in row 1 
and when row value is 2 i value becomes 2 so the range will become 2 to 3 right so it will give output as 2 so j value become 2 so it will print that here so at row 2 will get value 2 next when row value is 3 i value becomes 3 so 2 to 3 plus 1 that is 4 so it will give output as 2 and 3 so it will print this 2 and 3 here okay so we are done with the all the parts next here i'll take print function this is for new line after printing each row i want control go to the next line after printing numbers in one row we want to go to the next line to print remaining numbers right that's why here we use this print function because of this print function after printing one row control will go to the next line to print remaining numbers okay so now we are done with our code so we need to save this and run this so it will ask enter the number of rows first i'll enter four so here we can see the output so if i enter 10 so this is the output okay so that's it for now thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'll meet you in next class till then take care